from here to Jerusalem. Um, yesterday I was in no state to do anything. I was, I was really wrecked with the whole bickering and um, there, there's some stuff going on outside of the walk that is just not okay with me and I, I really, it really got to me. So I slept. I just slept. I slept until about 11 and then I went out uh, uh, for some coffee, spent some time on the phone with Marcel and uh, my friend Tina and uh, then went back to sleep because it was just too crazy. It was too crazy. My head would not let me rest. So I have to mind that a little bit. Um, so this morning I got up early, packed up everything, got rid of the, the brown dress because it was like totally, it had holes on the side from where the bags had been rubbing and I'd been carrying it around and I'm not, I'm not uh, repairing it so uh, I should just get rid of it. Uh, I got two uh, tea towels, uh, like the, the fancy smancy ones as uh, new towels because my old towel been used for other things and uh, yeah this morning I woke up and thunder lightning the whole shebang like straight overhead <coughs> so I left about an hour and a little bit ago and it's hard going I have about 33 kilometers I think there's a bed at the end of it so that's really good news uh, Shani the Harp is standing outside. I'm having a cup of coffee in the in a petrol station, and then I'm gonna go on. It's gonna be a long, 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 long day. Um, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, I feel really emotional. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I've developed a patch of eczema at the back of my skull, uh, so I must be stressed out of my little mind, like. But I'm hoping that uh, the stress will go away uh, in a little while. In a few more days, uh, I'll be out on my own again. I'll be back on the Jerusalem Way then, uh, the actual Jerusalem Way. So this is the last bit of the of the Via Militaris, Via Diagonalis. I've been off it for a good while, uh, but I'm back there now. Uh, 
I feel very torn about everything at the moment. I feel very torn about being here. I feel very torn about being alone or asking people to come and join me. I feel torn about everything, everything. So yeah, wish me luck. It's gonna be a long wet day. Um, it's probably not a terrifying thing for me. Like it's okay, it's okay. Oh, and then uh, Christos, he he brought me uh, more food, more vegetables, more. <laughs> so I'm laden down with food and rakia and wine and God knows what. Let me go drink my coffee. It's good to be here, though. What can I say? Okay, <laughs> talk to you later. Right, I'm about seven, eight kilometers from uh, Hartmannle and uh, the sun is shining. It was supposed to be pouring rain today <laughs> and it did rain for about an hour. Um, when I started this morning, it was like coming down in buckets. Um, Haskova was, was like one big puddle, one big stream, one big puddle. Um, 
but it stopped pretty soon once I once I once I started going it just stopped it stayed cloudy and and it stayed like that for a good while um, it didn't continue and then I had a my first break was at a petrol station because I hadn't had coffee so I went into the petrol station to have coffee and there um, they, they were like do you want the deal <laughs> I said I just want coffee like do you want the deal and I was like okay give me the deal so so it was orange juice and coffee great great because i i've been i've been struggling to put in enough vitamins and of course uh, all the all the fruit that uh, christos had given me had helped uh, uh, developed like um, spots on my tongue and of course i've got the i've got the eczema now so you know um vitamins are good uh and uh then I walked out and this man went in and then he came out as I was putting on the pack and he said, uh, are you that woman who's walking from Holland to Jerusalem? And I said, from Ireland to Jerusalem, yeah, that's right. And uh, the women that had served me, they're there and they're like cheering. They're going like, bravo, and they're cheering as, I, as I'm walking off. And he, he, had, um, he had lived in, in England for five years. And I said, so no, no more it was too hard. And he said, no, I've got a child here. I need to, I need to be here. Uh, and then, so I went, I went on then. Uh, it was fine. Of course, like, you know, walking along a big road, it's never fun. I, I never enjoy it. But Easter, Easter Monday. So it actually wasn't too bad. It's just that I've got all this stuff in my head, which isn't helping. Um... And, and, you know, once I walk, the tearfulness goes away. Now it's coming back again. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Human nature is a funny thing, isn't it? Because, I don't know, like, there's nothing wrong. Everything is okay. Like, everything is fine. It's just, I'm just feeling a little stressed. That's it. And I, I was thinking as well, like, I'm walking into now the next border area. Border areas are always always a little bit stressful um, but this whole thing about the funerals and <sighs> that I went to the funeral now I really miss my mom like this whole thing about my mom dying in August it's really hitting me now like anyway so uh, then I then I stopped um, in the next village there was a, a two two villages and I stopped in this village to have a cup of coffee uh, and uh, there's this man and his daughter and he's watching he's watching TV and he makes me a cup of, a cup of coffee you know two cups of coffee and it's like one live 20 crazy stuff and uh, then he goes uh, where are you going and I said I'm going to Jerusalem and he says oh, you're a pilgrim and I go, yeah, I'm a pilgrim. That's right, I'm a pilgrim. And he says, oh, that's that's amazing. I, I said, oh, do you want to come with me? But he, he was in his 70s, you know. And he goes like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I said, maybe your daughter wants to come. Oh, no, 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 not a, not a hope, not a hope. And then as I left, he gives me like a bag with cookies and two eggs for Easter. <laughs> I mean, how sweet is that like? And I went like, oh, but that's not necessarily... He goes like, no, 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 that's for your journey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I walk on and uh, there's, a, there's a bend in the road and there is a, a, a little back road that, that goes past it. And I'm thinking, I'll take, I'll take that road and I'm crossing through the field. And then this young man comes to me and he says, where are you going? And I said, I'm, I'm heading to Jerusalem. I'm heading towards Turkey now. How uh, uh today. And he goes, are you religious? And I go like, mm, uh, maybe. <laughs> Why? And he says, you know, my family, they're not, they're not religious, but, but I am. And I have been praying for somebody to come by because I know God has something really special for me in store. And I'm going, okay, well, that's, that's really good. I'm, I'm delighted, like. 
And he says, will you pray with me? I said, okay, of course I'll pray with you. So we have a little prayer and he says, there's, there's bad people coming for me. What, what do I do? Like, you, you were sent here by God to, to, you know, you're the sign. And I said, listen, man, you just got to shine your light. Just shine your light and, and nothing can happen to you. And he goes, oh, yeah, okay, shine my light. And he says, doesn't matter that I'm, that I'm a gypsy. And, uh, and I go like, no, of course not. It makes no difference. And he says, uh, you know, uh, maybe, maybe that is why it's so hard. And I said, no, 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 you just have to shine your light. You'll be fine. Like, it's, it's okay. Oh, and I think this is, my, uh, this is my lift. I'll talk to you later. So we got to pray and everything. Okay, talk to you later. So yeah, I didn't walk the last 8.7 kilometers of the 34 kilometers to get to the place where I'm staying. So I can do that tomorrow. I've got two nights here in Hermanle. Hermanle. And uh, I'm underneath the roof. The moment I arrived, it started pelting rain again, like pacing. And uh, I have enough food for tomorrow during the day and tomorrow morning. I still have a tiny bit of wine. <laughs> I have some rakia. So I'm gonna go to a pizzeria here. And uh, yeah, gonna have some food. So yeah, where did I end? I ended with the young man. And he, he kept talking, he kept, he kept like, putting this thing through the translation going like I was chosen by God for something special I've been waiting and praying and here you are and what should I do and am I okay and am I safe and, and I said of course you are like don't let them get from me so I, I I will be saying some prayers for him and lighting a candle cause you know these things are not simple can I get in here? So yeah, where? Yeah, there, okay. And uh, yeah, then I walked on. He kept me there for like uh, 10 minutes at least, like. And I'm standing there with the bag thinking like, oh, please. But I don't want to dismiss him just straight off the bat because he obviously is concerned. So there you go, that's my story, Rory. And then I walked on until um, at the turn to this place here. Kovo, Kovo, and um, then uh, Ina sent me a message saying, uh, you know, he was on his way to come and pick me up, but that she understood if I wanted to say that I was left on my own in the dark, in the rain. <laughs> She's hilarious. Like, I think we really uh, have done a really pretty messed up job of communicating over over uh, social media um, but I, I'll uh, talk about that when I actually uh, cross the border because I think that if we would have met in real life we would actually get on uh, but because we've only been communicating over social media for me in English for her she doesn't speak English uh, German and Bulgarian Bulgarian does not translate very well into English, I have found. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to fix it. And I don't know how to say to her to calm down a little bit. And to calm for myself as well. Um, it's been very interesting. And it's been a bit of a challenge, for sure. But she's really, really helped me a lot. Uh, so, there is a, a, there's a good woman in there. Like, she really is a very decent individual but some of the things she says are outlandish like but I think it really has to do with the translations I think that, that it just doesn't come across properly and I really think that she actually would like me if she met me in real life anyway I'm at the pizzeria I'm gonna go order a pizza have something to eat and I'll talk to you later